Hello, I'm Nathan Brown. I'm delighted to be talking to guests about the value and benefits of the apprenticeship programme run at Belfast Metropolitan College with really innovative employers. And we're delighted to be joined in studio today by May Parkinson and Emma Brown from EY. Ladies, you're both very welcome today. Thank you. Maeve, could you put your employer hat on for a second and tell us, as, a, as an industry leader, tell us a bit about your role within the company and the advantages that the apprenticeship scheme has brought to you? Absolutely. So, my name is May Parkinson. I'm the Student Recruitment Manager for EY in Northern Ireland and basically what that means is I bring students into EY Northern Ireland and that can be everything from graduates, um, internships but also apprentices and um, the reason why we chose to um, introduce the apprenticeship into EY Northern Ireland is because it gives us such an um, opportunity to reach diverse um, audiences. Um, it's not just people that have left um, maybe school, um, it's maybe career changers or returners um, who have seen um, being attracted to the apprenticeship of Belfast Metropolitan College. And lots of different career paths and career changing as you're saying and we're talking about diversity. We're going to turn to you now Emma, and tell us, would you tell us a little bit about your journey and how you ended up with this fabulous opportunity? So I was in school doing my A-levels and I initially had applied to go to England to do cyber security but I knew deep down I didn't want to go to England, I didn't want to be away from my family and obviously student debt is a mass, massive factor in that. Um, so I knew I didn't want to go to university but I found Belfast Met randomly, I think I was on a coffee break in work one day and I just decided to apply and it was right for me the next day, you know, I was applying and then I did an interview with EY and I got the job. Brilliant. Well, you're enjoying great success. I'd like to ask you about, uh, we'll ask you later on about what your plans are next, but I'd like to talk about two things, and that's the support which you receive from your employer and also the support that you receive in college, because people watching you today will be concerned about those two things. How do we help you? So I joined Belfast Met, the course, initially a few months later. Um, and the teachers in my class are absolutely amazing and helped me get up to speed. I remember one of my teachers put in a call with me on a Friday night at about 7 o'clock just to help me get up to speed with the content because I had a test the following week. And even still, though I am caught up now, the staff are absolutely amazing. I feel I can approach them with anything, even if it's just a silly question, because you know they do want you to do your best. Um, my organisation are amazing. I was a bit apprehensive, you know, being 19, going into corporate business, but it's been amazing and they're so understanding as well, you know, let me have flexible days working so I can, if I have deadlines and I'm doing exams, Great. just being really supportive Great. and it just feels amazing to have such a support network around me. Well that's really important to have that and it's great to hear that the company is, is really helping you uh, in that area. I mean, if your company is very successful, 20% increase in business in Northern Ireland, 30% in the Republic of Ireland. If people are watching you and thinking, I'd like to apply to be an apprentice and I'd like to partner with EY, what kind of benefits are you offering people who will follow in this good steps? Um, well, first of all, there's no student debt. Um, uh, those maybe are sitting considering going up apprenticeship route versus university. Yes. Um, they'll join EY, they join as a permanent employee. So they get the same benefits as everyone else, mm. which is great. Um, great holidays, um, pension. I know a lot maybe would be interested in pensions, but um, <laughs> later on in life when you get to my age, um, you definitely want a pension. Or mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also have opportunities as well. Um, we have a £500 allowance um, for health and wellbeing, and everyone in the firm gets that in January each year. And it's up to you how you want to spend that. So um, if you want to play golf and buy new golf clubs, you can do that. Um, maybe for Emma and I, we might want to have a spa day. You can use it for that. <laughs> Concert tickets. So it's up to you how you want to use it. Um, so there's loads of different benefits, but also there's benefits um, in terms of learning on the job right from day one. Yeah. Um, and then you also have your learning in college. Um, and you can actually put that learning straight into practice and you might not necessarily have those opportunities if you go down other paths That's in right. terms of education. Right. So it's great that um, the apprentices have the opportunity to put that up-to-date learning into practice um, straight away. Really great career opportunities with the business which is 
expanding and very much forward looking absolutely as well. absolutely so if you come in as an apprentice um, you would go through the progression opportunities like anyone else in the business as well so you know um, the apprenticeship route compared to university route um, you're already you know carving your career out as well as study at the same time so you can progress your career a lot quicker um, and um, yeah you don't have that student debt as well hanging over your head um, after the three or four years Interesting. Both of you ladies have mentioned debt today, which is very much which is very much on our minds. And I, I wonder if we could we've listened to all of those really exciting opportunities. I suppose Emma, our, my first question to you is, what's next? Because you have choices, and you will at the end of this academic year. What are those choices, and what way are you minded at the moment? So I want to make sure you know I finish level five to the best of my ability, but also once I finish level five, I want to go on to level six to get the full degree. Um, I think it's definitely worth it just to continue on to level six. It's only another 14 months. Um, and then the end goal, like I love, would love if EY would keep me on permanently after I finish my degree, so that would definitely be my end goal. Very exciting. And I suppose what I'm interested in now, both of you are pioneers, both of you are role models, but I'm, I'm thinking about someone tuning in and watching you in particular, Emma. And what would you say to a young woman tuning in, maybe on her coffee break as you were looking into the future, and she's thinking about an apprenticeship, what would you say directly to that young person? Go for it. Don't worry. You know, I was maybe worried, oh, it's male dominated. I'm going to be the only girl in my class. Who cares? Be the only girl in your class. You need to stand out and don't be scared. Just go for it. I would say to any girl, do a STEM subject, be a woman in STEM, because it's so important, especially, you know, cyber security definitely is. There's not a lot of women who work in the sector, but go for it, definitely. Thank you very much indeed, Emma. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed, me. It's been a really a thrilling conversation, lots of wonderful opportunities to partner with really innovative companies like EY and do your training at Belfast Med. I'm Aidan Brown, thank you very much for watching.